Where, where's he at? Oh my god, look at him. And I like this change a lot. This phase two looks dope. And here we are, we are at the ocean. The palm trees looking very nice. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria 1.4 video. Today we are checking out a Minecraft texture pack for Terraria. And the texture pack, we've seen this in a previous video of mine where I was just checking out a bunch of texture packs. And it is made by Melster. So shout out to him and everyone else who helps him on it. But let's get to it. As you can see here, the menu is actually different, which is nice. And also when you launch the game, the uh, Relogic logo is actually Mojang theme, which is also very nice. We already got the attention to detail locked down, but let us go ahead and hop in the game here. And as you can see, even the menus look a little bit different, but here we are. Look at this. We got everything nice and square shaped. Well, I guess everything is already square shaped into our area pretty much, but look at this. We got the trees. They're moving back and forth. Uh, let's, let's see what happens when we try and cut down a tree. Okay. Got the nice little... Does it sound like it? Uh, and also, when we move stuff in our inventory, they also make that noise. But yeah, there's obviously a lot of things to check out here. The Arcalis is a diamond sword. That's something I'm noticing right away. But let's just start with how everything looks. So we got the uh, natural forest slash purity biome, whatever you want to call it. Looking good. Um, maybe I should get like in an outfit that represents Minecraft some more. All right, there you go. Looking better. And then we got the corruption over here. And uh, you could just imagine the crimson being red. Red square trees. We got the desert coming up look at the cactus let's get a little zoom in here on the cactus cactus also square shaped uh more square shaped than usual is what i should say because terraria they got a couple round edges here and there on blocks and stuff but these things they're they're pretty damn square we got the snow biome coming up here this looks very very nice i like the trees here we got the hollowed biome coming up which is end theme which is kind of dope because we got the we got the chorus fruit here and I like that this place is end theme. That's that's honestly a cool idea. I kind of wish that they used end stone then for the grass. I guess maybe the pearl stone might look like end stone. But uh, what's down here? Are these pots? This is what pots look like? They look pretty cool if, that, if that's the case. Kind of looked like a briefcase at first. Is the money XP? The money is XP. That's amazing. That's that's a good idea. I like that. We have the uh, rare yellow tree. We got the rare red tree. Rare yellow tree. Oh, here we go. We got our first chest. Natural chest. Now, this is 3D shaped, right? I can't tell if that's just a wall. No, it's not 3D shaped. Okay. See, like some items are 3D shaped. For example, these pots are 3D shaped. But the chest, I guess since most chests in Terraria aren't 3D at all. Well, most things in Terraria aren't 3D at all. Don't even give like a fake appearance of 3D. But let's see what's in here. Wow an umbrella and then we got potions okay the coins of course throw the coins out because they make a beautiful noise kind of makes me want to just break all these pots for the noise all right here we are we're at the dungeon what the hell are these dungeon pots they are <laughs> Okay, and here we are. We are at the ocean. The palm trees looking very nice. The water, I'm assuming, is gonna look exactly the same. Oh, different noise though. Hold up. You hear that? Very nice noise. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's check out the jungle. And then maybe hell. And then that should be it for things we need to check out in terms of how it looks. Because this video might be very long if I try and find every single uh, mini biome and everything else. All right, here we are in the jungle. And of course, the jungle trees are here. Uh, I don't know if the bamboo is different. It kind of looks the same. But if it is different, then congratulations. Nice attention to detail. There you go. That's this biome. I do want to see a beehive. But we might get into that later when we uh, check out the bosses. Boom, here we are in hell. A lot of cool looking uh, objects and furniture around. Uh, actually, this is, I think this is just a rock. No, what the hell was that? <laughs> yeah, this is what hell looks like. Looks nice. I'm assuming this is nether rack everywhere. Yeah, it looks like nether rack everywhere. So pretty much this is the nether. We got the nether bricks right here, the nether brick fortress. And then these are hell forges. Yes, sir. Very, very nice. So yeah, there you go. There's all the, uh, or a majority of how just like biomes and stuff look. But let's go ahead and let's start checking out some items. Because that's going to be another big part of this video. Now, this uh, texture pack is a work in progress. Keep that in mind. So there's still a lot of things that are going to be done for this texture pack. But let's just look through some uh, weapons, I guess. And if anything looks minecraft like we'll take it out and look at it here we go we got all the tools these are all definitely minecraft theme uh platinum axe how's it look i'm assuming it's gonna look you know exactly the same as a regular terry axe but just minecraft looks same thing with all the hammers i mean i guess we don't need to really look at all of them but the hammers have more of a uh, certain theme now we got these swords yep the swords definitely looking like minecraft swords we got the gold one we got the diamond one which is the arcalis one uh we got the stylish scissors which are shears the umbrella is square shaped though we got the last prism nice 
is a beacon that's honestly that's a good idea like right there i like that a lot yeah it looks like there's not too many again work in progress so there's not too many uh, i probably missed some already yeah look at the bars the bars look different the gems look different we got a diamond looks you know just like a diamond emerald and acorn looks different just looks like a sapling nice little detail there uh the furnace of course looks like an actual furnace for minecraft can i place it anywhere there you go um it actually does have an animation too which is very nice um not a lot of furniture i'm assuming just wood is the furniture mostly touched in terms of making it look minecraft theme uh, we got the chest we've seen the chest already and other than that i think there's not too much in furniture some of the things in this menu though so we can see the hell forge looks looks like a hell forge terraria hell forge but when we place it it's got the minecraft theme so i don't know how many items are like that in this menu but coral looks different clay pot looks different of course looks like the pots from minecraft and then there's probably a couple other little things here and there just snuck in uh but as you can see there's a million fucking furniture items <laughs> But yeah one item that i have for sure is the wooden table and the wooden chair wow look at that Ooh, that kind of looks scary looking next up we got the summoners a lot of the summoners are changed uh as we can see that one not i was just seeing if i put it in my inventory if it would change or not but some of them are changed very nice oh uh, we got the life fruit mana crystal and life crystal all have a different texture accessories i mean there's probably some accessories in here that look different but again might be a little bit hard to find but yeah i think let's go ahead let, let's let's see the sun let's see the thing that y'all want to see and that is of course the bosses let me get rid of a couple things here okay let's go through a bunch of the bosses here there might be a couple that actually don't have textures yet we'll figure it out i guess when we see them and uh there might even be some enemies here and there that have textures all right there you go let's start with the king slime king slime for surely i know has an updated sprite as we can see the boss bar already kind of gives a spoiler to it Where, where's he at oh my my god look at him beautiful so we're gonna hit him a couple times see if he uh drops oh we fucking killed him all right you know whatever we we, we saw it it also made the uh, minecraft hit noise which is very nice let me go ahead and place some torches around for uh our nighttime portion here boom dusk and then let's summon in the eye i cthulhu we could already tell by the summoner for it that it's gonna be square shaped look at that they weren't lying there i like the the hit noise it does to spawn in the minions the, hey the minions are or the servants are actually square shaped too nice detail okay this time don't kill it let's use a weapon that i know won't kill it it's gonna uh, do a lot of damage but not kill it there we go we get to see second phase nice I like this little 3D square stuff. No, I'm a, I'm a heavy fan of when stuff looks like this in Terraria. It just looks really cool. Let's go ahead. Let's finish off the eye, though. See you later. I guess since it's nighttime, let's check out the mechs. We got the twins here. Of course, if they can do the eye, they can do the twins. It wouldn't take too much effort. They have a lot more health, so maybe the Zenith is the way to go. Please don't kill them. Don't kill them. Okay, we're good. They're not dead, and we get to see the mechanical versions of them now and the spasmatisms kind of got a little metal metal layering going on same thing with the red naser and they look very cool go ahead and get rid of them oh they do a little explosion noise when they die all right next up the the destroyer i don't know if the destroyer has a square shape or not no it doesn't okay that's good we checked all right next up skeletron prime and then we should probably check out regular skeletron too but i don't think i can do that without going into another world but look at that square shape reminds me of the roblox video i did of terraria great great memories from that video all right here we are we're at the jungle the queen bee i know for sure is another one that's changed and i like this change a lot they got the new beads from minecraft quote unquote new however new they are now at this point point. and as you can see even the smaller bees are the uh, bees from minecraft which is really dope but let's go ahead let's kill her there's no second form so we just gotta kill her all right here we go brain of cthulhu again we can kind of see what it's gonna look like brain of cthulhu look at the creepers are even more square shaped too honestly surprised that they aren't just like floating creeper faces but yeah let's go ahead let's tear it down or tear down the uh the creepers and let's see phase two okay this phase two looks dope yeah let's go ahead let's kill the brain of cthulhu, cthulhu see you later and i guess skeletron is the last one on our list all right so let us go ahead and check out the final thing we're, we're probably gonna check out in this video and that is skeletron look at that big ass head yeah the skeletron square hands square arms a lot of blood gushing everywhere honestly the face is not that square but yeah let's go ahead kill him <laughs> 
make some great bone noises i like that and i think that's gonna be it for this video it felt like we didn't check out much but there is still a lot a lot of work in progress stuff that's gonna be done for this extra pack and we'll check it out in the future when that happens so i just want to insert this little clip here of me going through all the uh, files and as we can see there is a lot of things that are actually changed i don't know how much of it's actually in game but there's a bunch of things even the clouds got the textures you know how it is in 1.4 where some of the clouds have their own textures and they're moving around in the background but as you can see a bunch of items here don't know how much of it again is implemented but there is a good good bit of work done here even a couple of enemies which is very cool uh, obviously a lot to cover in just one video that's why in the future we might do a part two covering other things that i missed out on but yeah there's a lot of cool things in here uh, another cool thing is that there is actually custom backgrounds done for some of these and they look really dope they obviously got the square minecraft uh, tree style going on and then you even got you know ui stuff splash screens a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in here i don't even know what the hell is in there uh even more ambient background stuff for example you know the eye cthulhu that flies around in the background uh the flying ship in the back you know the one that i always see and i'm like who the hell is that uh air balloons too same thing is like who the hell is that let me get a ride yeah i just wanted to show some of this stuff off because i feel like i missed a good bit of it and again it's kind of hard to show all this off in one video but there you go uh, i really like these background images bro these background images are sweet as hell yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video shout out milster for making this texture pack there's a couple more minecraft themed terraria texture packs that we may check out in the future so keep that in mind but yeah uh, i'll see you guys later so please follow my twitch twitch.tv slash gamers 101 you know i post that i stream almost everywhere i can you know i post on twitter i post on my discord i post on my youtube community post hell i even post a video but people still come to my stream and they're like whoa i didn't know you streamed on twitch it's kind of like you're avoiding it if you didn't know i streamed on twitch at that point but yeah please please follow follow we're gonna have a very fun stream there soon where you guys can spawn things in my world and kill me while i play bye bye